In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to clear cache on your iPhone. Now, cache data is saved by websites and applications, and it's designed to make your experience faster and more efficient. But if there's too much cache build up on your iPhone, then your iPhone might start getting slow, sluggy, and unpredictable. So there are plenty of ways to clear cache. The first way to clear cache is just to go to the apps that you think are storing the most cache and clear the cache. Now, go to settings on your iPhone. Under settings, go to general. Under general, scroll down to, or rather just tap on iPhone storage. And that's going to list for you all the apps installed on your iPhone. And you can actually make sure you sort this according to size. If it's not sorted according to size, then you want to tap on that and then choose size. Now, as you can see, these are all the apps on my iPhone. And what you want to do is select the top 10 or 20 apps and delete cache from all these apps. Because the only gripe with this is that you have to do it app by app. So you want to start with the apps that are occupying the most space. So for instance, if you look at the photos app, you have the Bistcam app, we have WhatsApp, all these apps. So let's pick an app like YouTube, for instance. So as you can see, YouTube is occupying 10.77 gigs of storage space on my iPhone. Now that is a lot because the app itself is only 257 MB, but then it's occupying 10.77 gigs. That means there's a lot of cached data, uh, probably downloaded videos, all that stuff that is occupying space on my iPhone. So what you want to do is completely uninstall the app. So just select delete app and confirm you want to delete the app. And when you delete the app, go to the app store and reinstall that app and it should be good to go. Now I'm going to do this with a different application, not necessarily uh, that one. Let me go ahead and do it with uh, CapCut for instance. So CapCut, the app itself is only 497 MB, but it's occupying 1.3 gigs of storage space. So if I delete the app, completely uninstall the app, and if I need it, I'll just go back to the App Store and then look for CapCut and reinstall the app. And as you can see, I have the app reinstalled and it's good to go, ready to go. So now if I go and check my settings and storage information, you can now see that CapCut has actually moved from the top apps which are occupying the most space on my iPhone. And it should be somewhere all the way down, okay? Probably the least You can hardly even find it. It's all the way down. So you can do that for the apps you use the most because the apps you use the most are the ones that have the most cache data. So you can go and do that for your top 10 apps maybe and the next 10 apps if you have time and that's going to clear a big chunk of your cache data on your iPhone. Now, some apps have internal mechanisms of clearing cache. So if you look at popular apps like Spotify, for instance, let me just go ahead and launch Spotify. If you go to Spotify, this particular app has its own uh, cache clearing setting. So in the Spotify app, if you tap on your profile icon and then go to settings and privacy, under settings and privacy, go to storage. You can actually see there's a button here to clear cache for Spotify. So tap on that and then confirm you want to clear cache. Now keep in mind that this will not remove your downloads. That's a different button. This is basically just clearing the cache. So you can find out from the app to use the most if they have an internal mechanism of clearing the cache, then you don't need to delete and reinstall the apps if they have those ones. Uh, TikTok has it, Twitter has it, rather X has it, Spotify has it, Instagram has it. Most of the commonly used apps have uh, a cache clearing button. A link most of the ones I can in the description below, so you can just check them out one by one. Now, another way of clearing cache on your iPhone is offloading unused apps. So if you have apps that you've taken long without using, 
your iPhone can automatically uninstall those apps while maintaining the app data so that when you need to use those apps in future, you can just reinstall and you can pick up from where you left. So to do that, you just have to go into settings. Let me just go back to the main settings page. So on settings, scroll down and find the app store. Under app store, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you should see the option to offload unused apps. So this will automatically remove unused apps, but keep all the documents and data and reinstalling the app will reinstate your data if the app is still available in the app store. So to enable that, I mean, if you enable that, that means if you take too long without using a certain app, your iPhone will automatically uninstall the app and maintain the app data and documents on your iPhone. So that if you need to use the app, you can just go to the app store, reinstall the app. It's gonna get synced with your app data and you can pick up from where you left the last time you used the app. So those are the ways you can clear cache on your iPhone. Now, it's still strange that the iOS operating system does not have a way of, does not have a cl clear cache button. So until we get there, this is how to clear cache on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.